Hey guys, Roblox2025 here, and today I'll be doing the Brick Arms MG08-15 machine gun. So this was released back in 2015 and retails for around $25. So this is the first version. Um, the first thing you see is you get a a nice um, a nice looking case, and in the back you get some foam in there. And if you got some, uh, it's a nice logo, and you can see also the copyright logo. And with that said, let's um, open this up and assemble this gun. So here's the MG08-15 assembled. So the first thing you notice is the ammo chain. So the first versions uh, use the ammo chain instead of the, the drum magazine that the second version had. And to give you a little comparison, here is the second version. You see, um, the second version has this uh, drum magazine, which is uh, only exclusive to the MG08, so you can't uh, buy this separately. And and for the gun itself, it's, it has some nice details. You get some, get some, get like the details in the mechanism as well as. The, as well as details on the side, and overall, yeah, the overall detail is pretty good, and I think Brickham did a good job cramming all the details into this small 135th scale uh, um, gun. So, we also get this uh, bipod, which is just like the Lego antenna, and like most machine guns, you can also uh, disassemble, which is a nice feature. But the main, um, uh, Thing that you're getting is the is the the molded parts, and moving back to the second version. So the difference between the first version, the second version, is that the first version has a molded like molded gunmetal mold as well as the well the brown mold and the pistol grip, while as the the second version is all solid black just to make it cheaper. And there's not much of a difference. I mean, so, I mean, let me just try to get the camera. It's kind of hard to see, get a closer look, but you can see some. There's a lot of good differences. But other than that, they're pretty much the same guns. And that's all I gotta say about the, the MG08. Overall, I would say that the gun is pretty nicely detailed, as mentioned before. And although it does have a nice case, as well as the molded parts, it's just not worth getting the $25 you're spending. And granted, this was released before Brick Mania did its perfect caliber, but afterwards, it's just nothing but just a novelty. And the only reason why it's worth it, mainly because it's the only way you're getting it. And even then, it's way too expensive, as I really want to get a regular release of the MG08, but the fact that Brick Arms have a 10 Z to not do so, it's just, it really sucks. So with that, I'll give this a C, mainly because of the price. I mean, the gun is pretty good, I mean, had the price been much cheaper, it would have been like a, a B or A. But overall, that's pretty much it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe, and that's pretty much it. Goodbye, New York Town. Goodbye, Miss Liberty. Your light of freedom will guide us across the sea. Every soldier's sweetheart's bidding goodbye.